Well, I'm Artifacts Mars. And here's an example of the media going nuts all over Elon Musk taking over Twitter. I'm on the fence on this one, by the way. But I couldn't let this video go. I watched it. Twitter, Elon Musk, and content moderation. Bloomberg Technologies channel. No, I'm not going to subscribe. Rebellion Super PAC Executive Director Brianna Wu. Uh, this is a guy in a dress, by the way. Who has worked in Twitter's trust and safety to help improve Twitter's policies following Gamergate joins, I don't know what that is, joins Emily Chang to discuss Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter and what that makes for the future of the company's moderation process. I watched this video and I was utterly appalled because they said that uh, conservatives were not being persecuted at all, that it's just, uh, you know, they're trying to clean, do away with threats and things like that. Well, of course, you know, conservatives generally support getting rid of threats and people who want to do harm. But free speech is not harm. So, watch this video and I was utterly appalled and I replied right here. I started this video for later. I did that through my browser so I could bring it back when I needed to. This video deserves a hogwash award or a liberalism as mental disorder award. Although I personally have had no issues with Twitter, it is notorious for its political censorship of conservatives. Thumbs down. So, we're going to give Mr. Bloomberg a hogwash award on this one. I'll show you just one of the many sites that are talking about conservatives being banned. Uh, Freedom Outpost, InvestorTimes.com, Twitter has been out of this being nothing more than an arm of the socialist agenda and actually meddling in this year's midterm elections. They've done so by basically silencing, this is not, uh, 2021. They've done this, done so by basically silencing voices of their opposition in the latest move by the social media giant. They banned 10 conservative voices on Twitter and failed to provide reason for the ban. To top it off, their pre can reply to an appeal issued a permanent ban. Approximately 9 p.m. Eastern on October 2, 10 conservative Twitter accounts owned by 10 different entities were suspended by Twitter. When the account owners contacted Twitter to get details of where, what they supposedly did wrong and appeal to punishment, no reason was provided. Including, instead, the bluebirds and punishment sent them notices that they were permanently banned. You know, that's, that's these little snot most punks that they hire to uh, so-called moderate, which means censor. First, seven accounts above had never received any warning or punishment by Twitter. Bomb 3 were suspended about six years ago and never received any warning that they were close to being in trouble. The suspension notices were sent to their owner's email at the same time. Blows one example. Hello, Great, Great American Republic. Your account, Great Am Republic, has been suspended for violating the Twitter rules. Specifically, for, and there's nothing after that, note that if you're attempting to evade a permanent suspension by creating new accounts, we'll suspend your new accounts. If you wish to appeal the suspension, Please contact our support team. Good luck there. Read the email carefully. Did you notice that the support team email says specifically for there's a blank space? I already pointed that out. In other words, they're suspended for violating Twitter rules, and apparently which particular rules are not for their consumption. Perhaps these rules are kept safe the formula for Coca-Cola and Colonel Sanders' 
chicken recipe. And here we have more. And we'll scroll down. Here's another uh, Love God and Country told me as soon as she received this suspension notice. She appealed pro precisely four seconds after she filed out form below and sent, sent it to Twitter. The second notice appeared telling her that she was forever banned. So if you appeal it, you get banned. If you don't appeal it, you are banned. Either way, you're banned. So there's no appeal process. Now, this goes on and on. I could uh, find one site after another. I don't want to drag this out. Let's switch and say a hogwash award goes out to Bloomberg. And there's something I wish I didn't have. It's that widget thing. Since in the bottom left corner, if you run over it with your um, mouse, it pops up. It's horrifying. But anyway, then uh, some guy from India bought Twitter, uh, took over Twitter, he didn't buy it. He's CEO now and he has an unpronounceable name. I'm not going to try to look him up. I guess he's been worse than Taliban Jack was. Now we have Elon Musk bought it, bought Twitter and was promising freedom of speech. As I said, I'm uh, I'm basically waiting to see on this one. I'm not quite trustful of Musk, so I'm waiting to see if he follows through on what he said, then more power to him. I won't guarantee it, though. As a matter of fact, tomorrow's this has been the Hogwash Award. Hogwash Award goes out to Bloomberg Technology on YouTube.